here is an interesting question question for preparation of olympiads physics olympiads the question is block and bouncing ball let's read the question a block with a large mass capital m slides with a speed v not on a frictionless table towards a wall it collides elastically with a ball with small mass m which is initially at rest at a distance l from the wall the block slides towards the wall bounces elastically and then proceeds to bounce back and forth between the block and the wall find how close does the block comes to the wall this is the question is there so this is if you see to calculate let's understand this problem little more clearly before that let's see what are the keywords are there number one keyword is that the block is colliding with the ball and the collisions are elastic collisions they are the elastic collisions and there is not one collision is there there is a repetitive collision there the multiple collision is there multiple collisions then second thing is saying that this block mass is heavy this m is much much greater than small m very heavy as compared to small m this is the one thing is there third thing is saying that when this block will this is a minimum distance separation x minimum is acting suppose this is the minimum distance separation x minimum is acting and when x minimum will take place when this block will come to rest when the block will come to rest because this wall is a rest so at that time minimum distance of separation will be there so we will to calculate this one so the block will go as this hit this one first thing that we know the collision elastic collision between two bodies and we usually take this body velocity the heavier body very infinitely heavy body strikes with a small ball then after the collision we know the small ball will start moving with a velocity of 2v0 and this block velocity won't change appreciably it will remain unchanged nearly unchanged in case of elastic head on collision between the heavier body and a lighter body we know this thing but in this case the velocity won't change in a one collision but it really does not remain constant it changes because the block apply the impulse on the small block so its velocity increases small block apply impulse on the the block small ball ball apply on the block so its velocity decreases but decreases very very small in one collision big sigma because the capital m is very very high but as there are multiple collisions are there one collision may neglect the change in velocity for multiple collision we cannot change the change in velocity so this velocity will keep on decreasing 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 that's we have discussed like this this ball will ball will go by the time it will come here now the block has come here next time it will go by the time it will come the block has come here it will be like this after some time the velocity of this block will be equal to zero at that time you have to find out the x minimum need to be calculated so if you see in this case how to find out this problem is that at that instant what will happen this block has come to rest so all the kinetic energies of this block has been converted into the kinetic energy of the ball because the elastic processes are going on every collision is elastic collision so whatever kinetic energy of the block was there where it is gone that has been transferred to the small block's kinetic energy so let's calculate ki what will be the velocity of the block ball at that instant the ball's velocity at that instant when the block comes to rest that's let's calculate that thing first so to calculate that one what we'll do initial velocity of the block was half m into v not square and this will be wholly converted into half m into v let's give a name when the block come to rest at that time we can give some name to this one suppose the we can say c vc what is vc vc the velocity of the ball when the block is at the closest distance of c for the closest so the closest distance of separation closest distance of so i given the name to this one okay so from this i can calculate vc is equal to under root of m by m into v not so now my code question reduces to when the velocity of the ball become equal to this much at that time 
what is the separation between the wall and the block what is the separation between the wall and the block so let's see uh, suppose after nth collision after nth collision the velocity of the block is equal to v is b and capital v and the velocity of this small block after nth collision b vn okay and the distance separation between them is xn this is the distance separation between them xn so after collision this ball moves like this it goes like this and again collides elastic collision and come back but by the time it comes here by the time it comes here xn is the distance separation between the block at nth collision and the wall but by the time it comes here the block is now no longer here block has come here reached here so the to meet the next collision with n plus 1th collision from nth collision the ball has to travel from here to here this much distance here to cover so let's find the relation between the xn and what is the distance the block has moved suppose the time duration the collision between this is equal to delta t delta t is the time duration between the nth collision and n plus 1th collision so during n plus 1th collision the block has moved a distance of this much and this distance is nothing but how much v delta t that is equal to v delta t in delta t time v delta t is moved so this distance is v delta t and this distance is xn so total equal to xn so i will calculate the value of what is this relation between this v, v delta t and xn you will see this you want to calculate this one then by the, the during that time the ball has traveled from here to here it has traveled and with a constant speed so the ball this block has traveled v delta t distance but the ball has traveled a distance of small v n into delta t ball has traveled small v n so what is v d n this is the v n into delta t and what is capital v delta this is the thing that if i add this with this what will get this plus this plus this to so equal to total two xns will be there so let's see and calculate this value so i can write two xn from here to here this total distance two xn from this to this is nothing but vn delta t two xn is equal to uh, vn delta t or i'll write this two equal to vn delta t distance double particle plus distance traveled by the block capital v delta t so from this i get a equation then xn is equal to vn plus capital v by 2 into delta t i can call this as equation number 1 this one equation is there now if you see this is the xn distance there but what is this distance there this is the now distance after this the nth this the n plus 1th collision is there so this distance i can give then x n plus 1 distance i give this x n distance is given this the x n plus 1 now this x n plus 1 can be calculated by subtracting x n what distance you calculate capital v delta t to be subtract if you subtract this one you will get the value like this ki x n minus v delta t equal to x n plus 1 so this is the equation number 1 there let's go to the next page and find out the next equation so what i can write the x n plus 1 is nothing but x n minus v delta t and last equation from equation number we on one we have calculated this is equal to v n plus v by 2 minus v delta t so this can be calculated solved and you can write x n plus 1 is nothing but v n small v n minus capital v by 2 into delta t this is my equation number 2 let's see what the equation number 1 was there equation number 1 was like this will be convert this equation to another format also let's write c so before n plus 1th collision the block was here and the particle was here the block was moving with a velocity v and the particle was moving 
with a velocity v n but just after a collision the velocity of block is capital v because in one collision infinite mass is there very large mass is there velocity will not change appreciably the velocity v but the velocity the particle started moving with a velocity new velocity we give the name n plus 1 v n plus 1 so from the elastic collision or collision e value is equal to 1 e equation will put and velocity approach is equal to velocity of separation i can write v n plus v what the velocity of approach should be equal to v n plus 1 minus v is the velocity of separation if this value i'll take and substitute in this equation i'll take this value and substitute in the above equation i'll get the Answer like this equal to x n is equal to v n plus one minus v by two into delta t. So two equations I got. One is for x n here and x n plus one in the equation number two. This is the equation number one. I can really write equation number one. I can say so. This two equation will see and what can we derive? We'll check in the next page. So these are the two equations we got <clears throat> from for equation one and two. From this we can get delta t is equal to x n divided by v n plus one minus v, and from this I can get delta t is equal to x n plus one by v n minus v. From these two equations, if I equate the time, then I can get that x n By v n plus one minus v is equal to x n plus one by v n minus v. So if I take cross multiply, I got the equation x n into v n minus v is equal to x n plus one into v n plus one minus v. I say this is equal to Constant quantity. Why I am saying constant quantity? Let's see. This is equal to you see x n into v n minus v is equal to x n plus one into v n plus one minus v is a constant quantity. So at any collision, any any collision, x n is the remaining distance to the wall into collision velocity of the ball after collision minus velocity of the block at that instant. This is not constant quantity in fact, and this is a constant. Quantity. This relation is a very very important relation. We get. So we need to calculate this value of constant. What will be the value of constant? We'll be finding out. So once we get the value of constant c, then we can easily calculate. So what is c there that we want to find out? That in the initial value also, in the initial condition, initial time also, the first collision also, this relation need to be satisfied. So in the first collision, the x n was the wall distance from this equal l. and after the first collision the first instant collision the velocity of the ball become 2v initially we discuss because collides a heavy mass move with the v velocity collides a lighter mass so its velocity become 2v and what was the velocity of the block at that instant v sorry 2v not initial velocity of v not was there so it become 2v not 2v not and what is the initial velocity of the v not this is equal to l v not and this is nothing but your constant quantity we calculated the constant quantity to be equal to this value okay so we got that this is a constant quantity what is this multiplication will be there we calculated now this same relation this relation also will be valid this relation has to be valid at any instant so this will be also be valid at the instant of x so at the time of x minimum this equation has to be satisfied so x minimum Into the velocity of the body at that instant, we have taken the given Vc. We have given the initially Vc minus the velocity of the block at that time. This is the velocity of ball. This is the velocity of block. Also should be equal to this constant quantity. This is c over c must be equal to l v naught. And we'll see. We have calculated this value Vc value. We have calculated. If we go and check in the previous page, we have calculated Vc value. How much we have calculated Vc value? We have calculated the Vc value to be equal to this one. We have calculated Vc equal to under root m by m into v naught. We will take and substitute here. Then we get the equation. This is equal to x minimum into 
bc value that we have calculated equal under root of m by m into v naught that equal to capital v naught not small v naught will be equal to capital v naught is nothing but l into v naught okay so this we can simplify and we can get from this relations we can get that x minimum will be equal to l times of under root of small m by capital m this is the minimum distance to be traveled minimum distance between the block and the wall when the block comes to rest when the block comes to rest this will be the minimum value will be there this is x minimum we have calculated at that instant velocity of the block will be equal to zero and velocity of the ball will be equal to this much block and the wall mind it we have not taken the velocity of block to be zero usually we take for a one collision velocity of block to be very large heavy large block with there and the velocity won't change that we have taken for one particular collision one collision between the ball and block it may be constant nearly to be taken a constant but the multiple collisions that is happening and the over a period of time the block velocity will not be equal to remain constant block velocity decreases from here to zero and it keep on moving elastic collision keep on moving and we find out the minimum x between the block and the wall that is the before the block stops after that what will happen after that also collision will take place now the block will start receding block will go behind it will start moving and the block with ball will keep on moving this is a problem of olympiad preparation type physics olympiad iapt type and this problem i've taken from the howard university 2003 problems book assignment and if you like the solution then hit the like button and if you want to get more of this such type of problem and solution subscribe to the channel so be tuned signing off bye take care